So what is life design? Some people may think life design is esoteric, but it's not. We actually help not only students, but also executives and retirees to proactively manage their transitions and better regulate their emotions. We also give them confidence to deal with uncertainty and we help them to build resilience to start and sustain changes. So it's essentially about using the innovation method design thinking together with positive psychology, which is not about being positive all the time, but using your strengths and combining it with insights about behavior economics and overall using knowledge visualization to better communicate with yourself but also show others what you're thinking of and helping them to contribute to yourself. Visualization is a great help in life design and I think for three reasons mainly. First, when you visualize your ideas about your life, you zoom out and you have a big picture view on your situation. Second, it really allows you to involve others in the co-creation of your future wishes, of your scenarios. Uh, you draw together possibilities for your future. And thirdly, it's really a great device visualization to keep track of what you're doing, keep track of the changes in your life and see that you're making progress on your drawings as well. So I was part of the first life design course held here at the university and it really helped me to shape my career. And also I started new side projects and even today I use it in my day-to-day -day activities like my morning routine for example. So the initial starting point was my visit at Stanford's Institute of Design as an SNF fellow. And then I was so amazed that I wanted to bring it to Switzerland and founded the Life Design Lab here at the University of St. Gallen and worked together to fine-tune the concept with Martin Epler and Sabrina Bresciani. And in the meantime, we are offering it to students, also through HSG coaching. We're working with plenty of organizations like the United Nations, Nike or Swiss Re, but we also want to have a society impact and we work together with the World Demographic Forum. We still structure our life in a model with three phases. Childhood, work, employment and retirement. But this model is 100 years old and we should transfer to a model where we think in transition phases. And here life design can help. It has at least two advantages. First advantage is that we can keep the skilled people, the skilled workers in the system. Second advantage is, for example, that we can reduce the poverty rate in our society. Personal resilience is an important topic for us at Swiss Re. With the life design approach, we have been able to empower people to take care of their life experience at work. We have piloted the approach uh, with a group, it uh, was very successful and in the meantime we have been able to roll it out to over a thousand people worldwide. Life design is an enrichment for the coaching program at the University of St. Gallen. It enables an inspiring exploration of students' visions and dreams for their future. This creates a deeper awareness and understanding of one's own decision and action possibilities. So what is the impact of life design? Well, on one hand, it's all about better regulating your emotions, which is important, especially when to manage transitions. Then it's also about building psychological capital, which consists of self-efficacy, hope for the future, optimism and resilience. And ultimately it's also about what are the barriers and enablers that make change happen, but also make it sustainable. So what is on your mind right now? What is it that you want to bring into your future? Try to find and understand what is behind it. Engage with others and prototype your way towards this. Because with this, you're bringing more of yourself into your future.